Today's video is sponsored by the letter int. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to yet another. Uh, I was gonna say Iron Spectates, but actually, the whole point of this video, I want to ask a question that probably a lot of people have been asking since the start of season nine. What what's the deal? What what's the fucking deal with bronze? All right, what what the fuck is the deal with it? Because honestly, we've we've relegated all the turbo inting bad connection players to uh, to iron, right? But does that mean that the players in bronze are particularly better? Are are they much better than they were? Are they uh, are we gonna see any improvement in like actual play here? I have absolutely no idea. We're gonna find that out today. And um, yeah, you're probably wondering where the webcam is. Like, why do I sound slightly different? Hold on, let me just turn. Yeah, I look like a fucking RuneScape character. Yeah, hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> let me see if I can. I'm unsure whether or not to like completely turn the webcam off and just roll with that, or if we should just go with like. The intentionally terribly fucking scuffed webcam that we have. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, genuinely though, today's video is sponsored by uh, you.gg. Very good website. Not gonna lie to you, I have no idea how the fuck they make any money from their service because it is, from what I can gather, 100% totally and utterly free. If you ever watch my streams, you probably notice that when I'm choosing my builds and my, uh, my rune pages, I uh, look off to the side of the screen a lot. I'm pretending that I'm not using you.gg is what I'm doing. So thank you very much for them sponsoring yet another video. And uh, yeah, check that out because it's February and well, uh, you know, money's not, money's not good in, in, in winter, start of the year. Anyways, enough selling out. Give me a like for the sellout. Yeah. All right, so let's get down to business. Lux, soul invading three people here. As far as like builds and uh, Champions go on both sides. There's nothing particularly crazy. Everybody seems to be buying what you'd roughly expect beyond <laughs> Beyond the Doran's ring on Lux though. That is the the I don't actually want to support support item The classic the classic so she's probably gonna be stealing quite a lot of uh, CS from Varus But they do have a really nice poke lane actually although Soraka on the enemy team is gonna make poking a little bit difficult I'm not sure what the pick order was but Soraka is definitely a pretty decent pick into this. She actually lands another binding. Gets hit with a Soraka Q. Soraka comes up, takes a little bit of damage from the Varus. Q comes out from the Kai'Sa. Doesn't get too much damage on a Varus. So there's going to be a lot of shenanigans in bot lane. I'm not going to lie to you. There's going to be a lot of shenanigans. If the Lux is running a fucking Doran's ring, it's going to happen. However, on mid lane, we've got Akal using her shroud a little bit too early. Kind of overextending. Renekton comes in on that. Both flashes come out from both uh, Swain and the uh, the Akali. He's got the Ignite down on her, but it's run out. She's just running. She's run. She's gonna get executed, boys. She's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna get fucking executed, man. Oh, no. Well, actually, good job. I'm actually genuinely impressed. Like, sh honest to God. Because I, sometimes people, they're, they think they're dead and they just want to run, like, try and fight because they're dead anyway. That was not the case. We got the E coming out from Lux here. Did a decent amount of damage on his racket. W comes down from Rekton. She's going to have to pop the flash. He flashes well. Heals out from the uh, Kai'Sa. They're not going to get in on the Q from Varus. Almost picks her up. The binding comes down though. Lux is just fucking tanking her. He's tanking her. soraka has got no HP, but she's still healing the Kai'Sa. We got heal coming out as well. That's going to be first blood for the Kai'Sa, dude. Oh, is she going to get it though? Oh, the flash and the heal comes out. Varus is safe. Um, bit of a, bit of a question mark, I've got to say, on the, uh, on the Lux here. This, this is not the ticket. This is not it. Just like, standing, running up into melee range, tanking minions. Basically, I guess like almost, it's almost like a Kazix Q, right? Kai's has a, uh, her Q. If there's less targets for it to spread to, less RNG for um, less RNG for her her Q to hit something, you're gonna take a fuckload of damage, and that's pretty much what happened. There was no other targets for her Q to smack onto, so she ended up doing a bajillion damage to uh, Soraka. And now we've got basically no summoners apart from Flash on Lux on bot lane. Everything's been popped. Heal, double heal bot as well on uh, on red side being popped. Both flashes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Sejuani, gank in mid lane, free easy, boom, frozen, done, dead, that's a kill for Akali, very, very nice. Back in a lane, 
the uh, the Lux appears to be maxing her Q first, which I guess is not too bad because she has actually been hitting quite a lot of her Qs. But her e, her e is doing fucking zero damage. Like Kai'Sa is sitting there tanking minions to try and stop it from crashing into the uh, the tower. But like, good God Almighty, dude! It the E does nothing, man. The Doran's ring ain't pulling through too hard. She has another Q, another E. Oh, we actually got a Q on that. She drops it. Like she clearly panic drops her silence underneath her. But Varus just gets the easy, easy pick, which is um, yeah. Honestly, dude, I. So here's the thing, right? So this is, I've got an uh, an, an inundation of bronze, uh, or sorry, bronze and iron, um spectating videos that I need to like have a look at. So I'm on my girlfriend's computer right now uh, on a on an earlier patch than I think I think the ADC changes have happened by this point. Um oh maybe I don't think there's gonna be anything out of this decent amount of damage though. Um so I think that's happened. I think the ADC changes item changes are out. But before this I'm pretty sure Varus wasn't great. I'm interested to know if anybody can let me know down below. Um if Varus actually is any good anymore, because I do quite like Varus, but just with like everybody being able to one shot you, it just seems kind of difficult to run him anymore. Um, like when it, when half the fucking supports are like mages that one bang you, it can be kind of difficult to run with, uh, just ever so slightly. And while we're on the topic as well, um, email will be on screen if you want to send me any uh, iron spectate videos. If you have any friends that are iron or you yourself are iron. Promise I won't make fun of them or you too much. I mean, look at me. Being hard stuck plat for like four years, I think. Possibly five. No intention of changing that either. These Lux bindings are actually fucking intense, dude. She's landing absolutely every single one. Like, she's getting she's getting both of them as well. Soraka's really hella low. Kai'Sa, E and N to both of them. She gets hit with a binding there as well. She's rooted. Q comes down for Varus. Gets a decent amount of stacks onto her. But the heal from Soraka keeps her alive. Both the W and the summoning spell have been dropped. So she's going to love that. But man, I got to say, like, even on, even on jack shit mana for both of them, they actually did a pretty decent amount there. And also, I know this ward. That, that is the ward you drop when you're standing here and you try and put the ward there to get into the bush. But you miss it. Oh, fucking, okay, TP coming in. Malphite TPing on bot lane. Misses the Soraka completely, man. She's already gone by the time he gets there, but he's not giving up just yet. He's going to run down towards bot lane, see if he can catch the virus. He's standing in the bush. He's going to chill in the bush for a bit, see what happens. Renekton is coming round. They do have vision on him though. Soraka is super, super duper low. The Unstoppable Force comes out. Varus gets baited. The W coming out from the Renekton, and stunning the Malphite. They're going to all back off here. Soraka. <coughs> she's so fucking low. <coughs> you know, she's so low, dude. But they all live. That was actually Mega Mind. I can't tell if Soraka was intentionally baiting there. I don't think she was to try and bait the, uh, the Varus in. But. That was actually Giga Big Brain from like both teams there. I don't know how the fuck that happened still though, Kled. He's uh he's dicking down top lane. Like Malphite is gonna lose a lot for this. He's lost like two platings, I believe, possibly three off of that. Um no, he's lost he's lost two and a bit off of going bot lane. Sejuani has come top to try and stop him. He gets knocked off his Scarl. But as far as like kill potential goes, I'm not entirely certain that Malphite can really do much, especially when he hasn't got his ulti up. She is doubling back round to try and do something here. She's got red and blue buff. She doesn't have ulti though. So she's going to be pretty useless as far as it goes. Lux hardcore invading jungle though. She's going for. She's trying to contest Skull Crab against the two of them. Akali's coming down. Varus is there. Are they going to go for it though? They've got vision on both of them. They don't know that Akali's coming round through Dragon Pit. She blast cones over the wall. Kai'Sa E comes out. Ignite goes down. She misses the E as well. She flash Qs though. Does a... Fucking bajillion damage to Lux. Finishes her off. Now Varus is on the run. Swain is, however, moving towards topside. He's kind of low, though. I don't know if he really wants to try and go for a 2v2 here. Renekton is fucking terminally low as well. But Ak oh, Akali is... Ak Akali's actually fucking responding, dude. Blue buff gets stolen. Now Swain's on the run. He gets hit by the Q. We've got Cloud Ollie coming down. Utterly missing everyone. He's not going to be able to help at all. However, Ignite goes on to the Sejuani. Decent amount of damage. That's going to be the pickup. The one for one trade. Akali manages to grab the uh, Renekton as well. Bear trap and a rope. Pulling the Malphite back. He's going to keep chasing his ass. He's running that motherfucker's ass down right now. Bear trap and a rope. He's unstoppable forces to get the fuck out, dude. All right.
But I respect the hustle though. I respect the hustle. Akali doesn't even try coming mid to fight the, the Kled. She just backs. She managed to get a pick, so she's 3 and 1. She's probably close to finishing her cutlass for her uh, Hexdeck Gunblade, which is pretty fucking spicy for 10 minutes into the game. I, I genuinely don't know whether or not I'd love to have a Lux like this, a support that's this aggressive or not. Fucking hell, they managed to peg her, man. They fucking dick her down. Soraka gets dropped. Now we got a 2-0 Varus. He hasn't got a CS lead, but still, honestly, he's still ahead, way ahead in gold. Actually, he fucking isn't. Oh, she got Scuttle Crab. That'll be why. Yeah, that'll be why. Uh, Kai'Sa jumped uh, Scuttle Crab. So I'm assuming that's going to be what the uh, the dealio is. The uh, Varus Ollie does go down onto the Sedge. I don't think they're going to be able to pick her up unless Varus can... There we go. We got the Q coming out. Lux managing to snipe that bitch. If not, Varus would have dinked her with the, uh, the Q anyway. But yeah, like... Sir, wait, I... I, I oh. Would you, would you like to have a Soraka that, uh, not a Soraka, a Lux that aggressive? It's hard to say, dude. I don't know. Like, I feel like if it was in my team, all the bindings would be missing. And the fact that she's like, she's like, she's got four points in her light binding, right? She's only got one in her E. Like, eh, you know, it, it kind of lacks the fucking oomph you're looking for as far as it goes. We have got a Kali coming down towards Balling right now. They haven't re they have a ward on it, but they do they're not reacting like in any way, shape, or form. Binding goes out, doesn't manage to land on any member of Red Side. She tanks a bit of tower damage there. Reacting is in. Domini drops. The fucking final spark utterly misses. Now we got Kaisa trapped away from the rest of her team. She's completely split. Soraka gets fucking base boosted in the next year. Glacial Prison drops as well. Is that Glacial Prison? It is. Renekton's gonna fall as well there. Swain, I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. If Suzwani gets the W on him, maybe another hit. Frozen. I think Kai'Sa should be enough to shred him. Should be an... Oh, fucking close as hell, though. Yeah, that was that was a good fight that went fucking horribly wrong. That was a very good fight for Blue side. Where we probably should have cut our losses. I'm not sure I'm feeling Renekton, though. I gotta say. She is just... What is she fucking doing, dude? She's maybe almost getting it. That would that oh that hurts to watch, man. That was some intense decision making there. Like if she had if she had points in her E, I'm pretty sure that would have been a kill, right? Like she probably could have hit the E and then the passive onto Kaisa. I mean, realistically, you wouldn't even try and go for the ward because you can see this this Sejuani standing nearby. Like it's not gonna be worth it, really, ever, surely. But she did it. And it fucked up. So that's something else. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how much I'm fucking with the, the Renekton build, to be honest. Like, Tiamat. The Red Smite. I mean, I guess Red Smite kind of makes sense. I, don't, I really wouldn't know what you would go for on Renekton Jungle, to be honest. I'm fairly certain it's not a thing. And I'm hoping that we don't choose to make it a thing either, to be honest. Uh... How did he manage to do that? Why would you do that, Cled? He's just, yep, yep, yep. Oh my god, that took so long. That took so long for him to go. <laughs> yeah, he flashes out as well. I mean, obviously the flash was a good idea, but Christ, man, that took so long for him to get that kill. Holy fucking shit. I expected it just to be an unstoppable force. Very surprised. None of them are shooting the blast going, by the way. Renekton slicing and dicing. Flashes in. W comes out. Tiamat there getting the pop on the Soraka. Meanwhile, Varus tower diving like a motherfucker. Bangs a Q on her. Oh! What the fuck just happened there? There is no way. <laughs> there is no conceivable way that Akali meant to save Kai'Sa from getting dinked by the final spark off of Lux. There's no way. Surely not. There is absolutely no fucking way that that was, that was intentional. There can't, it can't possibly, it can't possibly be true. And like, she was dead as well. There is no way she was going to dodge that. No way Kai'Sa, Kai'Sa did not even like try and dodge it. She just ran in this exact way it was going. 
Oh, oh, and she barely even moved after it already stopped. Like... There, there is no way that she meant to do that. That's all I'm saying. That was completely and utterly an accident. So though we got a TP coming out from Qued. Glacial Prison does land on to Swain. Unstoppable Force lands on to Virus and Swain there. Gonna be an easy pick there, dude. Now, unfortunately, Qued's kind of in the shitter ever so slightly. Q's over the wall. Not gonna be enough, though. So he's trying to Q's over, but gets, like, blasted back from the Q bump. But that's gonna be a free... A free dragon, dude. Free ocean dragon, which should be pretty good for, uh... For Soraka early game. I'd rate that pretty highly, given their team cop. As well as, I mean, Malphite needs... He's like a fucking mana, uh, a mana sink as well. He's got a really, really low mana pool early game. He's got a Frozen Gauntlet right now, um, so it's not, like, too bad. But generally, man, like, the early levels of Malphite are horrible to play through. Because you just, like, you press you, you press Q one time and you're, like, that's, like, 50% of your mana fucking gone, dude. It's not, not worth it. You end up having a, like... Run Qued under tower auto attacking him four times and then flashing out because you're you do no damage Guys is back guys back. No stop. No, no stop. No. Oh, no, please. Oh Good effort, dude. I wonder if they're pre-made actually that was like bizarrely coordinated always there But I think maybe a flux had landed a I don't she she didn't right because obviously Lux's ulti procs any passive on her. No, she didn't. If Lux, I don't, I don't think it would have done. I think it might have been the clincher. They would have been able to finish her off if Lux had E'd first and then, you know, EQ'd and then ulti'd afterwards. Because obviously she was stunned. She wasn't fucking going anywhere. Good effort, but like there, we got 4-0 Kaisal on, on our hands now, which is not good. We do not want that. Recton doing like jack shit though, still. He's 1 3 2. I genuinely don't know how. Sraka getting kind of fucking, uh, getting kind of aggressive. I don't know why he wouldn't try and go for that in that moment. He's obviously seen Kai San now. He wants to back off, but like, still? Really? Not gonna go for the Soraka who like runs up in your face and like kind of like tries to alpha you off of like fucking Crux? <laughs> fucking fair enough, dude. Now he wants to fight it in the 2v1, apparently. The two v the, the the two v one decision making is fucking intense right now, man. I don't know what to say. I swear to God, she just keeps getting these fucking bindings through minions. I I will have a clear shot of of a fucking enemy with zero minions, and guaranteed if I throw it a fucking binding, what, a, a hero minion will run in front of it and stop it from like stop me from getting the binding down. Makes no sense, and she's clapping them through fucking minions. Gets himself a kill on it as well. Kai says in the wait, hold on. Kaisa's in the bush. W's Q's down. She cancels an auto attack. Can Kaisa, you had it, dude. You fucking had it. You had it, man. We need to watch this. We need. <laughs> she fucking had it, dude. Right, here we go. One, one cancelled auto attack. Another one. And third cancelled auto attack. There, nice. And we finally get the fourth auto attack down. You hate to see it, man. She had it in the palm of her hands. It was so, so nearly there. 90 minutes in the game, you know what this means. It's a ram time fail lords. Binding lands onto both Malphite and Akali. Decent amount. Swain pulls her back a little bit. This is big time ul ulti. Malphite, fucking ulti. Great, oh my god. Glacial Prison and Unstoppable Force come down at the perfect time. Basically, deleting Varus from the game. Lux is on the run now as well. Malphite claps her big time. We've got Soraka running around, ambulance fucking healing as many people as possible. Rexon's gonna fall there as well. Swain is the only man left apart from Cled, and he is basically on another fucking planet. He's in a he's in a different game. I'm not saying this is a bad thing to do, but because like I mean, even though he's zero three, he is still getting a decent amount as far as towers and shit are concerned. But like fucking hell, I mean, Kaisa splitting bot lane, so we trade one for one tower wise, bot on top. But it's also a three for one on mid, so or two, yeah, three for one on mid. That I I can mm, I can never tell if it's accidental. See when you know war evil players manage to like coordinate almost perfectly the ultimate fucking wombo combo. I'm never sure. I'm never sure. Shizwani moves out as well. She has the virus thing ticking on her. And she moves out of it slightly, 
drops the glacial present at the exact fucking moment the unstoppable force comes down and it just absolutely demolishes him and then we've got like the passive damage that goes down it's not crazy high i think it only hits renekton as well from uh from her present onto uh the renekton and then it's just like cleanup time the the fight is won at that point you've got two tanks just rocking around with a healer and like swain has got no mana and let's, let's be honest here renekton's one in four he's not really gonna be pulling too much out of the hat here as far as, far as like outplays are concerned <laughs> he's not gonna be able to do much but that I, I i can never tell if it's like just kismet if it's just like utterly accidental but it just happens anyway or if like these people are actually just secretly big brain fucking players Cled's gonna all the way away. Yep, 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 yep. He's gone. Don't know why you'd put it there. Might as well put it like a bit further down the lane so you can like, on the off chance that somebody actually does come up through try, maybe? He has got awarded, I guess, but still. Risk for the sake of risk makes no sense. But then again, what the fuck do I know? All right, we have what maybe looks like a contest of um, Dragon here. Although it does look like Red Side are gonna pretty easily get this. We've got three people hovering around mid, one nearby with Cled. This is probably going to be one of the first team fights of the actual fucking game, to be honest. Glacial Prison goes down straight onto the Lux. Probably not the best person to drop it on, though. She's not exactly much of a threat. She's 3-9. and nine. Swain is going to get a lot done with this ulti right now here. we got got him picking up the Malphite. We have uh, Varus getting dinked by the Akali, though. And it's now just basically all the tanks running it down. Kai'Sa, nowhere near. This is a good fucking fight, finally, for, uh, for, for, for Blue Side. Whether or not he manages to get it though, he does manage to actually finish off the Akali. So it's like what? Three for... Yes, it... Well, yeah. Oh, shoot. No, it's like three for four. Or it's like four for four now. But honestly, I'm pretty sure... Um, I'm pretty sure Blue Side need as much as he can get. Real talk. Uh, they're they're kind of struggling. As far as like eight, like gold is concerned, like they're only two towers behind and it's like 5k. The, the score difference is pretty demoralizing though, undoubtedly. Um, if I saw that in my game, I would probably be like, it's fucking over boys. And especially the fact that uh, Kai'Sa and Akali are the two fed members of that team. Uh, like, Varus is not gonna have a fucking good time. Like, as I said earlier, like Varus, I don't really like playing him just because he's um pretty immobile. He's, it's very easy for him to like get dove on and just get dicked down with little to no indication, like little to no warning. So they got fucking Sijuani who can glacial prison the shit out of him. It's basically fucking nail, like nail gun his legs to the fucking floor, right? So like he just gets like fucking dinked to the floor. Like Kled's fucking just going, he's actually just wailing right now, dude. I'm saying all this shit whilst fucking Kled is wailing out, man. He gets a reset on the tower by going into Scarl as well, so he's no longer tanking. Fucking Sejuani gets fucking bodied by fucking Varus Q. What the fuck are they doing, dude? <laughs> Genuinely, Kled went from like zero, like what the fuck? He went from zero three to six and three. Unstoppable Force fucking comes down. Nobody's there to follow up though. Kali comes in, but she's not really gonna be able to check shit though. Fucking Renekton and bodies there with Kaldamik. Fucking Swain dinks and Malphite. Like, that's probably fucking barren to be honest, man. But yeah. Nah, if Glacial Prison hits on you when you're playing Varus, man, you might as well just fucking write your last will and testament while you're stunned because you're doing fucking jack shit in the meantime. As well as that, dude. Kai'Sa can dive on you if she really wants to dive past her entire front line. Um, and, and she will generally... She can dodge a bit of your shit as well. So generally, I'd say she probably wins 1v1s a bit better than Varus unless he manages to hit an ulti onto her, which could be hard because she's pretty fucking mobile as far as it goes um malphite unstoppable force if your legs weren't pinned to the ground then you'll be fucking sent into outer space at least um and then akali she can like micro stun you which is a less scary but still her being invisible she can basically zone you out of an entire team fight if she drops a shroud like in the middle of your team um but yeah they get barren out of it though like just a fuck all the mess please from red side man they get a free easy baron wasn't quite what I was expecting to see come out of that. But like, they're ahead in gold now, dude. <laughs> they're fucking ahead in gold. They went from like 5k down to being like 300 gold, or 100 gold up. Which isn't much, but like, I don't know. They've got a pretty decently scaling team. Um, beyond like Renekton. And I'd say Kled just ulting straight down mid lane. The Unstoppable Force misses though. Sejuani managed to pick. What the fuck? Where is that going? Both the big ulties from Red State totally fucking shooting into different directions. Away from everybody. Now Varus is on the run. <laughs> He's having a flash out, man. 
Dude, I don't have a clue what just happened here. I don't know who the fuck either of them are aiming at. So we got the big the big ulti here. He tries to ulti on a Sijuani. And then it looks like Sijuani tries to ulti Malphite. Um so they both both they tried to friendly fire each other, essentially. They tried to friendly fire each other. But uh, I have no idea genuinely how they win that team fight with such an intense uh fuck up of all major game changing abilities. Presumably cause like Akali is eleven and five and Kai Sad didn't really have anybody on her. Renekton like wasn't able to do much of fuck all in that fight. Um Kled basically just like turbo entered. He just Moby Boot turbo entered down mid lane. I think he got a little bit too big for his boots because he's actually got some kills and they managed to get Baron. But that doesn't mean they're ahead. They're they have a slight advantage, but I genuinely don't think that Baron buff really does much as far as like winning a team fight is concerned. Obviously, there's a lot of impact it can have like through like like fast pushing minions or even like you can use Baron to like defend and turtle up while you farm, I guess. But like it's, it's like 40 AP, 40 AD. I mean, if you're like missing fucking always and shit, then. Or if you're like genuinely have a if you get if their team play the comp well or you're you're mispositioned it doesn't matter if you have like an extra 40 AD or AP because you're just gonna get fucking demolished regardless <laughs> like yeah like like fucking that dude I don't I <laughs> would 40 AD and AP save him in that situation in any situ like in any way I don't really fucking think so <laughs> still though we still managed to get the trade one for one so Joanna's is gonna have to flash out the final spark goes down almost hits the Soraka but not quite um Renekton he's Wing the Sejuani he should probably be trying to kill like you know it, yeah he got this he got the Soraka eventually but like maybe not Wing the Sejuani would be a fucking great idea as well um the question is is Kled gonna turbo into the second he gets all the way up again despite the fact that it is currently like a 3v3 a 3v3 under terror though it looks like he is. He doesn't, they don't manage to get the pick out of Kai'Sa. Unstoppable Force comes down though, W out from Kai'Sa. They manage to get him off Skarl, there's Sejuani Q coming down there as well. So, like, Kai'Sa isn't looking to fight this though, so Sej is going to have to back off. Skarl gets, like, he get quite gets Skarl back bizarrely fast. I presume because he was just like, dinking the Sejuani, because she was like, face tanking him. But... Still though, I don't know. They're gonna have to back off, man. Akali's here. I think it might be too late for Lux. She gets exit gunbladed. Exhaust goes on her though, to be fair. But she's gonna die. That nah, that's not good. That is not good. We need every we need every man we can get here. I'm not really sure. Varus is like querying for uh dragon, it would appear. I think he's probably maybe gonna try and solo that. Although he has got Malphite, Kai Sat, and Akali en route. Sichuani's a little bit further behind. They're just gonna go for they're just gonna go for dragon here. Akali Actually in not a very good place here at all. The bear trap on a rope actually kind of gives her away. Varus is able to drop an away on top of her. And then at that point, like, he doesn't need to guess where she is. He's, all of his abilities are skill shots, so he can just fucking start dinking this, <laughs> start shooting through this smoke like he's playing college, uh, fucking Counter-Strike. Which is what I do. Get a P90, spray through the fucking smoke, maybe get a kill, that's it. That's how you play Call of Duty. Global Elite, by the way. Just saying. I gotta say, though, I'm at a fucking utter loss for whether or not... I, I genuinely haven't a clue which team's gonna win this. There's still only 100 gold in it. I don't know which team's gonna win. Because, like, I would I would see on paper that, like, Red Side have got the stronger team. But, like, that doesn't mean fucking anything, let's be honest here. Like, let's be real. <laughs> let's be fucking honest. Right, Malphite has just been pulled towards it. They've got so many of the three people stacked up here. Malphite fucking press R, dude. Seriously, fucking... There we go, boom! No, Three-man knockup. Glacial prison comes out from Sejuani there. There's a shitload of fucking damage coming out as well. Renekton's still chasing down the Kai'Sa, but she's able to shred him pretty damn easily. Quaid comes off as Skarl there. Swain does go into his Zonyas, but he's gonna, like, not really be able to do a tremendous amount here. He's got Sejuani body blocking the fuck out of it. And we got Soraka wambulance in the fuck around, healing everybody up to full. 30-minute Soraka, man. It's just not worth it, dude. Meanwhile, Akali in that, I mean, I, I honestly don't see this fucking, I don't see this Lux as a threat particularly. She keeps missing the E's, dude. I don't know why the fuck she's doing, man. I'll be real. She keeps fucking missing them. Like, bit of, bit of fucking movement prediction here, slightly. I don't really know. Just a little bit of movement prediction. 
I mean, I'm pretty bad for it. If somebody's running in a straight line, I will not throw a skill shot in a straight line because I'm like scared that they're gonna out predict me. All right, so this is gonna be a really nice push. There's only one member up and it's Varus and he's certainly not gonna go risking walking in towards like Malphite, Sejuani and all that. Despite the fact they haven't got any always and shit, like he's not gonna fuck with it. He says, let's be real. So it's gonna be a, probably a free inhib. We got like 10 seconds until Renekton and Lux are up. So whether or not they continue on or they back up, it's probably a good idea if they just back off here. We got pings coming out for Baron. Hopefully, blue side realize that that is what they're going to go for immediately. Renekton appears to have the uh, the knowledge to actually try and maybe see what they can do here. They're not going to get it up in time, though. However, Kled has ulted. He's gone straight onto the Malphite. Oh, he comes out. Unstoppable force from Malphite, though. Doesn't land onto the Varus, but Varus is still fucking face tanking in melee range onto the Malphite. He's still he's doing so much fucking damage. Glacial Prison completely misses there as well. And he does drop, but in the meantime, Akali falls, and now Sijuani is the only member of fucking red team still alive. Soraka was dead before that fight even started, so she, so she she was just not able to do jack shit. That was still a four v five, and good god, you can you can really feel you can really feel a difference in team fight when she's not there. Like they cannot make the dumbass mistakes that they make before when uh, when she's dead. They can't make mistakes like that. They just back straight off that. Probably would have been fine. I don't... She didn't even get Baron either. So... Nobody gets fucking anything out of that. I mean, they still... They managed to pull ahead, like... 3,000 gold, though. With that. It's still a lot of gold. If nothing else. But now, Topside's pushing in pretty hard. Soraka is obviously... Obviously not going to be able to defend against the Kled. And Renekton's on his way as well. Whether or not they go for it, whether or not he greets for the kill or actually goes for the tower is another matter altogether here. It looks like he's actually playing it fucking smart and going for the inhib, trying to get some pressure on top side to alleviate mid. I mean, it would be good if somebody could go mid and actually fucking deal with that. But Lux is up. She's not. She has maxed her E now, which is fantastic. She's running past it, boys. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay. <clears throat> Never mind. Fuck that. Okay. Sra man, she's a fuck. She's so brave, dude. Saraka is actually a madman. She's insane. You got, you got fucking Swain there, going big boy mode with his ulti. Boom, pops to Kaisat. Very nice, actually. Still, Qued's gonna fall. Get dinked by the Akali there as well. Redemption drops. A little bit overkill, but still nonetheless. And I'm really glad that Lux totally ignored the uh, the waves in mid. Did a lot of shit there. A lot of use. She's got a fucking call. What? <laughs> She's got a call. Fair enough. Fantastic, man. Understandable. Why would you not have a call? It's a great item for laning at the at the start of the game, not 36 minutes in. I I actually I'm not sure how long ago she she like when did she buy it? Cuz it's 36 minutes in. I mean, it's got 3 minions off it. So she must have bought it pretty, pretty recently. She's bought a fucking Ginsu's, boys. <laughs> she bought a Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck that, man. Um, ah, uh, I can't be honest with that. Nah, that's not happening. I can't believe she's bought a fucking Ginsu's, man. Here comes the Ginsu's Lux, coming in. She's flanking, boys. <laughs> She's fucking flanking, dude. She's fucking. She is at. Oh, she fucking flashes forward, drops the E, binding onto them both. She's not all attacking. <laughs> She's gone, man. She's running. She's fucking running. She's gonna drop. Oh, they're not even gonna chase. They're not even gonna bother chasing. It's a 3v4. That Callie's just kinda circling. She goes over the wall. She's actually pretty fucking fast. Manages to land an E. She managed to land the boys. Q, W comes out from Sej. Fair enough. The Ginsu's is not it. Still though, top lane. We've got super minions coming in. We've got three super minions dinking the shit out of this tower. That's gonna, that's easily gonna fall. So Joanne only just realized she just hit back. Four, four super minions now around here. I think actually, yeah, no. One of them died. One of them died from the tower. She's smiting them though. It's so close to dying. It's got 200 HP. They're coming in on bot lane though. Red side are pushing. There's nobody left from blue side to actually push, like to defend really here. Uh, we've got unstoppable force up. He's 
Is he gonna go for it though? Is it, that's the question. He's probably gonna probably try and use it to get the fuck out. Or not use it at all, rather. He'd rather take the 60 second death timer than his OE, which I actually assume. It's got a 48 second cooldown, so it would legitimately be more time efficient if he just ollied out rather than taking the death. But yeah, it's fucking whatever, dude. <laughs> um. Yeah, items, item wise, fucking. I haven't got too much to haven't got too much to comment on apart from the Essence Reaver now on Lux. Essence Reaver. Exactly. Why not? Of course. Fucking of course. On hit fucking Lux. <laughs> Why would you not? What fucking stupid fucking thing not to do? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got a She actually gets caught. Two always go down. Is she gonna die though? She Q flashes out. She's she, where the fuck was that going? I have no idea, mate. Totally missing it. Even even by prediction. Oh, they fucked it, boys. They face checked a fucking Kai San and a Kali in a bush. She's going for it. Oh my god, that was a fucking double dink there. Hit some of the fucking collateral with a fucking intervention on Call of Duty fucking Modern Warfare. Very nice. Oh, he goes down there as well. That's a fucking triple pick. Easy fucking peasy. What are you boys doing? Is this my soul cute teams I see? You're fucking shitting me, like. <laughs> no, how fucking unlucky do you be, man? Cloud fucking bails it down mid lane while everybody's fighting. Straight up runs it under tower, gets it to mm, about 80 HP, and then the fucking inhib respawns. Ah! <laughs> he doesn't know what that. He doesn't know what to do. He's running around the tower in the in the fucking nexus, just like wondering what the fuck is going on. Is Swain gonna- Swain's greeting for the fucking- He's no way he's fucking greeting for the end man. They're on the run. Kled is fucked. He's dead. 100%. But Swain can have a life. However, Baron is up and he's running in that general direction. Now, this ain't all over yet. If they go for Baron with no defense, then the towers are just- Like, the super minions are just gonna take the towers. Like, the super minions just gonna come in. One bang it like that. <laughs> take out the Nexus tower. No problem. They're gonna get- they're getting Baron and they're probably gonna get it, but Soraka is left to deal with this fucking sh bullshit right now. Swain's trying to contest it. It's 4v1. I don't know- he's got- we got GA on Akali and he's trying to fucking contest it. What is happening? She misses the E again, man. She fucking misses it. Every single time. I'm not gonna pretend that I can play Akali, but... Christ am I- if I'm not- if I'm not wanting to play Akali, then fucking Christ bronze players, man. Jesus. Right. Is this the master plan? I think Lux is maybe trying to go for it here. She going for the back door? She runs into the Kai Sat. The Kai Sat actually shits herself and runs away. Despite being four levels over this uh, this Lux, she runs away from the Lux. The 415 Lux. Sejuani, however, is not impressed. Very close to killing her. But she fucking jukes up the lane. They don't know where she's gone. Is she gonna back? I was expecting her backdoor there. However, this man's trying to backdoor. Straight up. He always oh, bit mouth. Oh my. There, he did not mean that. He didn't mean that at all. That was 100% accidental. Malphite is literally just running through the jungle and accidentally runs into Clyde ulting. There was like no indication that that was gonna happen. He basically, well, he didn't save the game, right? But certainly, like, he's actually a hero. He's 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 an all-American hero right now, and Clay just gets dicked down big time. Nothing that he could do a bit about that, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Beyond like that, like Renekton, Renekton's not doing jack shit. Swain's putting in a bit of work in team fights, but that's mostly through him pressing Oli and then Zonyoung. So, I don't really know if his team fight like prowess is really coming into play much here. Um. Virus, I feel bad for him. He's he, there's not there's absolutely jack shit you could do. There's this is this is a game that is uncarryable if your team do not cooperate or or you have a good front line, which he certainly does not. Um, he CS, you know, okay, pretty alright, I'd say. Um, and he's his build seems fine, I guess. I'm not really sure what you would build on Virus. To be honest, it's been a long time. Um. And, but yeah, he just does not have the front line or the, the he doesn't have the, the flexibility in these fights because he has to spend so much time, like, 
holding his flash, getting ready to flash Glacial Prison, getting ready to get away from the, uh, or like to Blade of the Rune King, the Akali, and hope that she doesn't ulti twice to get on top of his head, or trying to reaction, like to actually react to the Malphite as well. So they're on the Nexus Towers. Kai'Sa is taking big fucking da- Oh my god, the Wish does so much though. Varus is gonna fall here. There's no way he can stop that. He did so much damage to the fucking Kai'Sa, but she just heals all up. <laughs> and that's gonna be the win. Essence Reaver, Berserker, Greaves, Ginsu's Rage, Blade Lux, man. I can't be fucking arsed. Boys, that was it. If you did enjoy this, please fucking hit that like button. Check out EuroGG as well. Send me any replays you want to have featured on the channel as well while you're at it. And if you're new here and you just sat through like a fucking 20 minute video, just fucking hit subscribe. It's not that hard, boys. It's not that hard. Anyway, take care. See you guys later.